Hey guys, welcome back to Me Figurines. I'm your host, Cindy, and today I'm going to do a review of the Logitech C922 H Pro HD Stream Webcam. i do that. do that again. Hey guys, welcome to Me Figurines. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome to Mean Figurines. I'm your host, Cindy, and today I'm going to do a review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Cam. One more time. Okay, look at this camera. <clears throat> Blueberries. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host Cindy and today I'm going to do a quick review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Cam. Okay, so, oh, cue intro music, okay. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh. So I got to try this out for some time now, and um, no, 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 I don't want to say that. Hmm. Now that I'm recording, I don't know what to say. Okay. So I've been using, I've been using the. Okay, hold on. So for a while now, I've been using the C920 webcam. Okay, I got it. So for a while, cut, cut, cut. Right. so for a while now, I've been using the C920 cam, which is I'm using currently right now, and uh, I recently got my hands on the C922 and and wondered, um, hmm, okay, 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 this is harder than I thought. Okay, for a while now, I've been using this audio. <clears throat> For a while now, I've been using the C920. Oh wait, hold on. for a while now. For a while now, I've been using the Logitech C920 webcams for all my streaming setups, and I just got a, recently got a, a hold of the new C9. Well, not new, but is it new? Okay, 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 okay. Maybe I should just write this. Okay, so for a while now, I've been using the C920 webcam, which is I'm currently using to film this video right now. I just got my hands on the C922 and curious, what is the major difference? Because it's just two numbers. <laughs> okay, no, no, that's not a good one. Good one. Okay. For a long while, I've been using the C920. Okay. For a long while, I've been using the C9. Okay. For a long while, I've been using the Logitech C920, which is I'm currently using right now, filming the part, this part of my video. I just got my hands on the C922 and giving it. And now I'm going to give it a little test run, um, just by opening the box and seeing the cameras. They both look the same, uh, besides the blue light you get from the C920 and the white light you get from the C922 that's emitting out from the cameras and I could try to show you guys that in a little uh, my b-roll yeah that'll be in my b-roll okay um, so wow this is gonna be a hard edit hmm
Okay, so just to give you a quick difference, right now you're viewing the C920 with full, I guess my full lights in my room, and you got the lights in the in the back with my display case, and I have lights in front of me. Um, and just to kind of do a quick comparison, you're gonna see the 922. So here's the 922. You can see there, there's a little bit more tint of red I've noticed in my uh, my camera. Um, other than that, uh, the clarity I think is a little bit better. It's hard to tell, but to best to best tell, here's my sample with both um, uh, with both webcams. Sorry about that. I just realized before I switched, I realized I didn't set up my microphone for this uh, setup. So I'm going to do that again. Maybe I'll start from the top. Hey guys, welcome to Mean Figurines. I'm your host Cindy, and today we're going to do a quick review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Cam, Stream Webcam. There you go. I'll do that again. Gotta get it perfect. Sorry guys. Okay. Hey guys, I'm your host Cindy. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to Mean Figurines. I'm your host Cindy, and today I'm going to do a quick review. Of Yes, I, if you guys are watching, and why am I not recording to, to my computer instead of streaming? Because I have no clue why it's not recording to my computer. So it's being lazy, I'm just going to record to my stream and then cut the video from there. Okay, so back back to what I was going to do. Hey guys, welcome back to Me and Figurines. I'm your host, Cindy. Oh, I totally forgot what I was going to do. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host, Cindy. Today we're doing a quick review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Webcam. Wow, that's a mouthful. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host, Cindy. Oh, I forgot to say hi. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Mean Figurines. I'm your host, Cindy. And today we're going to... Going, uh, blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, welcome back to Me Figurines. I'm your host Cindy, and today we're going to do a quick review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream webcam. Okay, cue in intro music. All right, so I've been using the and probably do some B-roll on this. So I've been using the B, the C920s for a long time now, and I got. It's this audio that's really, really bugging me. I'm going to have to use my other mic instead. So give me a second while I set this up. Okay, I was hearing, can you guys hear me? It's not stereo for some reason. And I need to figure that out. Do, 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 do. Broadcast one, broadcast two. Does that do anything? Classic radio. Testing, testing, testing. Yeah, for some reason it's not stereo. I'm not understanding why equalizing. Master input. Mid, low, voice equalizer. And I have it on stereo too. How about Omni? Testing one, two, and it's still stereo. Carbon, no? 
bi-directional. Hello, hello, hello. Testing one, two, one, two. Maybe it's these things back here. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just testing one, two, three. Testing, testing. I want to try, just try the blue mic for now. I wish I can uh, equalize the volume. It just seems like the left side is lower than the right side, and I can't fix that. Maybe put it on my mic. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. Testing one, two, one, two, three, testing. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host, Cindy, and today we're doing a quick review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Webcam. Oh, I think I got that pretty good. Okay, so I've been using the 9... I gotta stop doing this. Okay. So I've been using the C920s um, throughout my streaming setup, and I just got my hands on this new C922. Well, it's not new. Oh, okay, hold on. So, I've been using, I've been, uh, I've been using the C920 for a while and got my hands on the I've been using uh I've been using uh, <laughs> I can't talk. I've been using the C920 for a while and got me Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should just write the review then to do a video review. This is hard. So I've been using the C920s for a while and got my, my hands on the C922 to test it out. Um, overall, I think the C922 is pretty decent. There's not a huge upgrade from the C920 to, to the 22. Apparently there is supposedly... Uh, this is very hard. So I've been using the C920 for a while and just got my hands on the C922 to test it out. Overall, I've been messing around with this for a week now and hmm, I haven't really, well, kind of, let's see. Okay, how about this? For a while now, I've been using the C920 for my streaming setup, and I just got a hold of the C922 to, to give it a test run. Overall, I've been uh, trying to see what the difference is. As hmm. It's hard to, unless I wrote, write this down, it's hard to kind of come up with stuff. Okay.
For a while now, I've been using the Logitech C920s for my streaming setup and just got a hold of the... I was going to say new. Is it? I don't think it's new. So, okay. I had to scrub through all this footage. There's a lot of footage to scrub through. Okay, this will be easier. So to give you, so okay. So for a while now, I've been using the C920s. For my streaming setup and then i got a, just got a hold of the c922s to kind of, ah to give it a test ah, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> okay 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 all right for a while now i got the uh, no, no, no. for a while i've been using the logitech c920s and i just got a hold of the c922 and i decided to give a test run and see how what the difference is although see what the difference is since it's nearly the same model, look and feel. Mm. Okay, how about this? So for a while now, I've been using the C920s, and I just got a hold of the new C9. It's not the new C922. Okay. For a while now, I've been using the Logitech C920s, and I just got a hold of the C922 to give it a test run. Uh, overall, the models are pretty much identical with a new firmware on the C922s. Uh, you get... Ugh, you get... You get 60 frame rate at 720, which I don't find very um, useful since everybody's streaming um, at 1080. The only big other difference I've noticed that I um, that you get with C922 is a really cool tripod, and it's um, pretty sturdy. I kind of wish the C920s had it. Um, I ended up buying my own, but yeah, it's nice to have this maybe like a $10 tri uh, tripod that came with your in the box. Okay, maybe I can talk about that. And then to give you a quick comparison of the two, here's right now I'm filming on the C920 and here is the C922. It gives, it gives me a little bit more of a red, uh, red hue, red tint. A hue. I'm a little red in this one. And then here's the test for side by side camera. So I should put this down. Oh, wait. I didn't edit this. Hold on. I just copied it. Whoops. I need to add another one. Oh, I think I might have permanently... altered this. I did. Oh, shoot. Wrong text box. Okay, I thought it was just a text thing. Um... How do you add just text?
Yeah, I thought I could um, just copy and it would just be another text. But this is scene number 22. Okay, done. Whoa. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, that's a little bit better. <clears throat> okay, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host Cindy and today we're going to do a quick review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Webcam. So I've been using the C920 webcams for a while and this I got just got my hands on the C922 to give it a little test run for today's show. So right now you're seeing the C920 and just quickly switching over is the C922. It has a little bit more of a reddish tint on it and this is just the default settings. Maybe I can just go in and adjust this but just by default out of the box this is what you're getting. And to kind of give you a, a comparison of the to two side by side, here you are. So it feels like it's picking the lighting is a little bit better on the C922 um, and versus the C920. Now I did notice because I have my lights in the back it's confusing the camera for some reason. So I look a little um, um, faded or my contrast is not the best. There you go. Now I wish I could just turn off the lights. Okay, maybe I could start over. Okay. I'll be right back. I think I'm gonna have to try this again. Oh, I'll be back one second.
Testing, one, two, one, two, testing, testing. Oh, I did not realize that. How's this? Better? Let me see if I can hear myself. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. Hey guys, welcome back to Me and Figurines. I'm your host Cindy and today we're doing a review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Webcam. Okay, that's just weird. I, see, I hear myself in the past. Alright, we're good now. Hey guys, welcome back to Me and Figurines. I'm your host, Denise, and today we're doing a quick review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Webcam. So I've been using the Pro 922. Oh, so I've been using the C920s for a while now on my stream, and I'm currently using it, as you can see right now, just to kind of give you a quick... Um, uh, all right, all right. How do I how do I put that together? Okay. So I've been using the C920s for a while and got my hands on the C922 to give the test try. Uh, overall, the two units are pretty similar in make. Uh, besides the little firmware up, update on the C922, you get a 720. Um, you get. Okay. Okay. I cannot compute the words in my head. Okay, so for a while, okay, so for a while, so for a while now, I've been using 
Okay. So for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and I got my hands on the news. Not new. Okay. So for a while, I've been using the C920s and got my hands on the C922 to give the test try. Currently, ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't put my words together. I think I'm just going to have to write this. I'm horrible at doing reviews, video reviews. Maybe I should outline stuff. So for a while now, I've been using the C920s, and I got a hold of the C922 to give a test run. Currently, right now, what you're seeing now on, on, my, on my video, sorry, somebody's in my kitchen. Turn off the sound. So for a while, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and which I'm currently using right now. I just got my hands on the C922 to give a test run. So overall, the two units are pretty much identical, with the exception the C922 has a firmware update that you can run 60 frames per second at 72p, um, which is kind of useless to me because every and everybody else, I believe. Is, is filming their stuff on a 1080p resolution. Other than that, uh, just in the quality-wise, you can see for yourself, this is a C920, and this is a C922. And there's a little bit more of a red um, tint on the C922. Again, this is just straight out of the box with uh, default settings. Now, to give you a comparison of the two side-by-side, -side, here you go. Whoops. Let me do that again. I think I did that. For, okay. So, oh, no, the cat. For a while now, I've been using the C920s for my stream, and I got my hands on the C922 to give it a test run. Overall, they both are pretty much similar mo models in make. Uh, the C920 has a little blue LED lights in the front, and the C922 is a white LED. I'm not quite sure if you can change those colors on the C922, but the major difference is that the, there is a firmware up, update that you can run 60 frames per second on at 72, uh, 60 frames per second at 720. Okay, okay. Start over. Okay. So for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and I got my hands on the C922 to give it a test run. Just by overall looking at it, they are both pretty much similar in, in model, it's just a slight upgrade between the two. The uh, C920s have a little blue LED lights, and the C922 has a white LED light. Oh, this is so much work. Okay, 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 okay. All right. <clears throat> So for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and I just got my hands on the C922 to give a test run. Just by overall looking at them, they both look the same um, 
there was just a uh, firmware update on the C922, which allows you 60 frames per second at 720p, which to me is not something useful. I, I shoot at 1080 and 60 frames is just going to lag my system down. So it's kind of a useless upgrade um, for the price you're paying, I think. Um, slightly, what, $20 difference? I'm rambling off now. Okay, I'll keep looking. <clears throat> so for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and I got a hold of the C922 to give it a test run. Just uh, out of the box, they both look pretty much identical, with the exception that the C920 has a blue LED lights in front, and the C922 has a white uh, LED LED lights. Uh, another difference is that the C922 has a firmware update with uh, that allows you 60 frames per second at 70, 720p resolution. Another good nice thing about the C922 is the tripod that it came with. A uh, very sturdy tripod. I kind of wish the C920s came with it because I ended up having to buy my own. Um, other than that, the picture quality seems very similar and you can see for yourself Currently, I'm filming at on the C920, and here is the C922. So there's a little bit of a reddish tint to, to my um, video. Um, and again, this is just out of the box, so there's no setting adjustments to it. You could probably tweak it to kind of um, get to what you want. And then here is the comparison between the two, C920 and C922. So yeah, overall, uh, from the money you're spending, the extra, I think between 20 to $30, um, you get a tripod with this, I say value about 10 bucks. And maybe I would say a slightly better picture quality. I did read up that you're it's supposed to have a better uh, low light quality. So I can give you guys that test right now, just by turning off the front. So you notice this is just my room light and it's, pick, it's, it's picking up the back lights uh, of my display chest more than me and um, what else yeah so low light I don't see any difference between the two uh, I don't think maybe the C920 is a little bit darker so I, I, I think it's my display ch uh, case I'm going to We'll turn that down. So this is just the room light. Okay, let me just start over. It kind of that went pretty well. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot without my um my lights. <clears throat> okay, let's do this over. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host Cindy and today we're doing a quick review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Webcam. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host Cindy, and today we're doing a quick review of the C922 Pro HD Stream. Look, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host Cindy, and today we're. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host Cindy, and today we're doing a quick review of the C922. Oh, Logitech C922. Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Figurines. I'm your host Cindy, and today we're doing a quick review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Webcam. So for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and currently using it right now to film this video. I just got my hands on the C922 to give it a test run, 
and overall just but out of the box they both look similar with the difference is that C9 and I I'll cut in some B-roll For a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and I'm currently using it now in filming this video. Out of the box, they both pretty much look identical in model, with the exception that the for there was a firmware update, upgrade, firmware upgrade, okay, firmware upgrade, okay. For a while now, I've been using the C920s. Uh, uh, for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and currently using it right now to film this video. Okay. For a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup. For a while now, I've been using the C920s for. Uh, for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and currently using one now filming this video. Out of the box, the C922 don't make. Uh, oh, okay, maybe I just do it one part at a time. So for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and currently using it now to film this video. For a while now, I've been using the C920s and... Ugh. For a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and currently using... Ah. Hey Ashley! Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. So for a while now, I've been using C920s for my streaming setup. Hey, Raving! I tried to do a review of this video, uh, review video for this Logitech webcam. Can I call you Figs from now on? Sure, you can call me Fig or Cindy. Or you can go Sin, Cindy. Welcome back. All right, I'm trying. I'm trying to do a, a review, and yes, I should be recording to my computer, but I have no idea why it's not recording to my computer. So I'm just streaming and trying to do a review of this Logitech webcam. Okay, so I'm. I'm, I'm going to. So for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup. Okay, it's not natural. That's why I'm, I'm I'm having a hard time. So for a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup, and I got my hands on the C922 to test it out. Just out of the box, they pretty much look identical. With the difference is that C922s have a white LED in the front. And the C920s have the blue LED. Uh, there was a firmware upgrade to the C922 where you can run 60 frames per second at 70, 720p resolution. Uh, another big difference with, bet between the two models is that you get a really cool um, tripod 
but I wish it came with the C920s. But yeah, this is about a $10 value tripod. Uh, other than that, I don't see a major difference um, than just out of the box, but I'll give you, I'll let you guys see that uh, for yourselves. So this is the C922. I think the lighting is just a little bit better. It's picking up uh, better lighting uh, on this. And then just to kind of give you a side-by-side -side comparison, here is C920 and C922. So what, what is weird is I see now that since my, my lights in the back are off, the C920 is picking up more of the red, giving me more red versus the C922. When I had my lights on, it was the reverse. So I, 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 can't, I can't for sure say that there is a bigger video quality. I did test the mics from each camera and it's about the same. There's no upgrade to that either. So this is the C922 at full, at full, well not full frame, but, uh, but I guess I will be using the C922 just because it's a slight upgrade versus the C920. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to do the low light setting. Okay, okay. From the top, from the top. Well, not all the way from the top. What was I going to say? Okay. For a while now, I've been using the C920s for my streaming setup and currently using it to film this video. I just got my hands on the C922 to give a test run and just overall looking, overall out of the box, they pretty much are the same model. Uh, the only differences I see is there's a white LED with the 922s and a blue LED from the front on the C920s. There is a firmware upgrade on the C922 where you can run 60 frames per second at 70, 720p resolution, which I don't find very useful for me since I'm filming at 1080p. Uh, another good um, thing added to the C922 is this little tripod, a little sturdy tripod and it's adjustable height uh, with it. It's about a $10 value for tripod, but it's nice to have the C920s didn't get that. So now just to kind of give you a comparison between the two, this right now you're watching the C920 and here is the C922. So I feel like it's a little bit brighter on the C922, but here is the uh, comparison of the two. See both? There is a red tint on the C920 versus the C922. Although I did test this out earlier with my lights in the back and both cameras tend to pick up the more, more light source where it's coming from and made me a little bit more, less, contra less, uh, less contrast, if you call it right. So um, when you're using this camera, you wanna make sure that the light, the dominant light is in front of you. Otherwise, it's just going to um, pick up the wrong light. Now, I did read, read about this camera, and they said that there was a, a better quality in low light. So I'm going to turn off my lights and just keep my room, and you guys can test, see for yourself, which is better still. So it, it is a little hard to tell because I do have monitor, monitors on this side closer to the C922, so it might be picking up more light. But just, just by just quick glance, I don't see a huge upgrade or difference on between the two. And so just by turning this back on, C922, um, yeah, if the C920s are still, uh, still out, um, I would maybe get that unless you guys really need that tripod and then I would pick up, but again, you could probably pick up one of these tripods for ten dollars um yeah no major difference but yeah if you happen to pick up a 922 cool but other than that that's that's my uh, quick review of the logitech c922 pro hd stream webcam how to read the back
Okay. So that's going to be my video for that one. Raven, you still there? Okay. <laughs> this is the funny one. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do a quick intro. Just readying myself to write. Cool, cool. So I, I don't have the music on today. I'm trying to do my, my videos of the, the, the product reviews of the products I got. Okay, I want, I want to wait until your text disappears. Maybe I should just remove this since, yeah. I'll just remove this for now. Cause I can always, um, oh no. Yeah, I'll just keep on to this camera. Hmm. I gotta remember to film some B-roll of my cameras. That means I need like a third camera to set up. Hmm. I haven't thought about doing this. So pretty much, I have it right here. This is the blue mic. The blue Yeti mic. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have moved it. Oh, when I talked about my other camera, C920. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe talk about it. Oh, it's right here. It's, oh, no. Good enough. Okay, maybe this one I'm gonna do a um, a written review of this product. I do have to take pictures of it, but since you're on raving, you get to see. Um, well, let me make sure my webcam, my audio is synced. With Okay, sorry about that. My uh, I didn't add my mic to the screen, but this is kind of cool. So I got to play around with the um, the little um, software that it came with, and um, there's a bunch of a bunch of different presets to to choose from, like this classic radio. Hello, hello. And then the effects is where this this thing uh, it's kind of funny. A lot there's a lot of like deep voices. Uh, I like the gnome one. The little gnome. Hello, 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 hello. Do I sound like a gnome? That's a good question. I gotta hear myself. Do I sound like a gnome? Gnome, gnome, gnome. Hey, wait. It didn't work. I know. Hello, hello, hello. 
I thought it was supposed to change. Huh. Apparently. So I. Uh, <laughs> I'm hearing myself in the past. This is just so confusing. It's like I'm talking to myself in a second. Hold on. Let me let me turn off my uh, machine volume. Yeah, that that is so weird. I, in the um, in the test, I feel like this is not uh, doing anything. Maybe I have to remove it. Let's see. Let me go back to my voice. Okay, testing, testing. How do I sound? Is it different? Camera not available. Oh, that's it. That's... No, no. Oops, I didn't want to create. Desktop default. Yeah, I can't get it to work with um, with OBS. That's a bummer. And I, I don't have this game to test it out with. I thought it just automatically um, converts my voice. Like I can hear it in the test, but. Um, let me see the settings. Nope. Gives you total control over the sound of your voice. Yes. <clears throat> yes, I got that. But how come it doesn't make a difference? So no wonder when I set stereo and all that, there was no difference. Oh, I'm a little bummed. So, if you're trying to use this for um, OBS and streaming, good luck. How's this sound? Nothing, right? Nothing different. <clears throat> Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, so it doesn't work, does not work with with um, Streamlabs OBS apparently. So if you want to play around with your voice and stuff, that's that won't happen. Testing one two one two one two three. Now I'm curious, maybe it does it actually work? Let me look it up. Does Blue Yeti mic work with Stream Labs OBS? Hmm. So I have to do some more research on this.
Oh, hold on, I need to make sure my volume's down. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do a, 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 a written review on this because if I try doing that with the audio, um, I found out that I guess the, I need to redo a little bit more research on this. Oh, I shouldn't be holding this around. I keep forgetting how sensitive it is. Sorry about that, Raven. Yeah, I was really hoping to mess around with the little sound effects during my gameplay on my other games, but apparently it only works for a couple of certain games. me though. It's supposed to do my voice change. Demon voice, demon voice. No, no demon voice. I have a feeling like maybe there's something I'm doing wrong. Press play to listen to how you sound. You can record your voice sample. It's a fishbowl sound. It's basically just tw um, um, tweaking some of the like settings on there just to get a certain sound. So blue voice, I don't think there's a difference in this blue voice. I'm curious now. Let me see. Turn up the music real quick. Testing, 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 one, two. Nothing different. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. Testing one, two, three. Testing, testing one, two. Wait, did you hear that? No, I don't think you did. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to try to uh, play it through my uh, computer audio. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop my sound from my uh, stream. Let me switch it to computer audio. Oh, and you might hear an echo. So let me let me see if I can um, do this right. Testing one two three. Testing. Hello hello. How did that sound? Did you hear that? <laughs> I guess it kind of works. I have to like run it through my um, computer audio, but it's just a recording of it. It doesn't like permanently, permanently changes. I'm using the, uh, the app here. It does sound robotic. There, there's a demon one that gives me like a deep voice. Check this out. Hold on. Be gone, you mortal. It's a little funny. I need to play around with, but yeah, I wish it, I wish it worked um, with my um, 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 OBS and stuff. So yeah, I'm a little bummed that it did not uh, change my voice on the fly through OBS. Yeah, none of the um, settings I can control from the uh, G Logitech G Hub is applying over to my OBS at all. Let me, let me see if I leave it there, leave it in the, um, the voice effect. And I like the Kings, it says the Kings, where is that voice? Ah, King's Chamber. Okay, maybe if, if I leave it there and then I close the pro, the, the, um, See, it's supposed to set to all applications, but desktop default. Let me see if I can switch details, add profile, desktop. Okay. I wonder if I can add OBS. OBS. Press enter to create profile. It doesn't do anything. No, default. Okay. Oh. Not that didn't do anything. Okay, let's see if I close it and that changes me. Nothing, right? I don't think that did any changes. Let me turn off my music real quick. My desktop audio and see if I can hear myself.
Okay, testing, testing, testing. Nope, no change. So please enjoy some music. So yeah, pretty bummed that this thing does not tweak my voice on OBS. So tonight, I'm going to go to a picnic, a little meetup pit picnic in downtown, meet some people, get out there. And then probably when I come back tonight, I'm going to download this stream and then cut up the video and... Uh, Oh, I forgot to do an, an outro. Hold on a second. Okay, let me switch to my 922 again. Okay, real quick. Okay. Thank you for watching. This has been my review. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. This has been my review of the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream Webcam. If you, oh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, I think that was fine. Hey DJ, how's it going? I'll play some music now. I'm just chilling, doing. I was, I was doing my review of the the new the, the new webcam I got, and then I was testing the new Yeti cam. I mean, not camera, microphone. But unfortunately, the um um the settings the settings did not um does not work on OBS. So, it's just a mic for me. Testing, testing. I'll play with uh, one of the uh, sound settings so you can hear it. Hold on a second. I'm starting to feel awesome. So what do you what do you do to uh, get you going, uh, raving? Get ready for the the playback. Also, how do you listen to me when I'm... So should I turn off my music or are you listening to my music? <laughs> Yogurt. Here's the demon voice setting. 
what sucks is I have to record myself for you guys to hear it. But first, I eat yogurt. Okay. Let me record myself. Welcome to you, Mean Figurines. Don't forget to eat your yogurt. That was the demon voice. It makes it like really, really low. Some voices are cool, some are like just really distorted. That's it. But yeah, I'm just bummed I can't like just switch it. Gilly. Hi, Gilly Boy. I'm not sure who you are. Your collection is awesome. Oh, I thank you. Oh, if I had my camera set up, I would give you a tour. Ah, I mostly at Frank and Sons if you're in the California, Southern California area. Um, online, eBay, Amazon, stores and stuff. Yeah. Huh, I really wish. Let me see if I can. Uh, this is a C922. So let me see. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can hook up my C922. Uh, my other. Um, oh no, that's connected to the mic. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't show you. Let me see if I can grab this camera. Whoops. I can't show you the rest of my room because of my webcam set up here. Keep this a little crossed. Oh, I got it out. Okay, hold on a second. Oops, my camera. Oh, I have to. Do you have every single X Men? Hmm, not every single one because I don't, I only have, for the most part, ones that came out. So I must show you my X Men set now since that you asked. And I'll, I would turn on the lights, but I'm not sure the the glare. You won't you will see it too clear. But uh, I'll show you here, and then I'll go turn on my lights real quick. So the C922, this one. Um, that's my X Men on that row right there. It's with Professor X. There's a lot of X Men, and then I got the Evil Mutants. Uh, how come the camera's not moving? There you go. Those are my evil mutants. And then I got, of course, I have the Sentinels over here. And there's Nimrod right there. But I got a good chunk of X Men, I have to say. One second. Let me switch to the camera. I'll go turn on my lights real quick. It looks pretty cool with the lights on. Yeah, I wish I can get a closer view. I was doing a review of my um, webcam and I'm not set up to give you a, a proper tour of my room, but there, there's a lot more back here around the corner. Uh, oops, getting dizzy here. There's my bat wing up there. Uh, the Ata Ata, there's my TIE Fighters. Um, there's a lot, there's a bat family right there. There's, uh, over here is um, all the DC villains, the Justice League right there, the Avengers, uh, the Marvel villains up there, uh, random figures in here, and this uh, the shelf. I do need to uh, tidy up. Do you have any? Yes, Transformer, of course. Those are my masterpiece Transformers. I can't turn the corner, but my G1 Transformers on the top shelf. Um, yeah, I can't, I'm sorry about that. 
I can't get to um, that side right now unless I like reset all my um, my mic and webcam. But yeah, those are my proud collection of my transformers right there. Do you have Beast Wars? No, unfortunately, I do not. I'm not a fan of Beast Wars. So yeah, I have none of those. I'm, I'm, I'm just a big fan of the 1980s Transformers, the G1. Let me go to my, um, my Facebook page and I can show you my collection. So yeah, my Facebook mean figurines. I have my photos of all my figures up here. I still I'm still cataloging all my figures. Yeah, here's all. The, oh yeah, actually here's all my X Men. I I did recatalog all my X Men: Jean Grey, Iceman, Bobby Drake, Bishop. I forgot his name. Lucas Bishop. There you go. Rogue, Nightcrawler, Emma Frost, Banshee. Uh, Captain Britain. And I also do 3D printing. So I did, um, I, I finished this Diva Mech. I 3D printed and uh, painted it myself. You can see, uh, this is how it looks um, after the 3D print and before the paint. Yes, I have the Fragment figure. Yeah, you caught that. Where did he go? Right here. Fragman. Yeah, I, I have lots of figures. I have about, I think my last catalog figure, is, this is number 1144, and I still have more figures to unbox. I've been stockpiling my figures, haven't had time to unbox them yet. I have the uh, Kickstarter spawn. So yeah, I'm a big collector of comic books, action figures. Uh, I, but I like both DC and Marvel. Um, let's see what else. You go to my albums. So yeah, I have a uh, Vampirella. Oops, that's not, that's not Vampirella. Um, these are my miscellaneous figures. Like Hellboy, John Wick. Oh, here's Vampirella. She's a pretty. And then um, I collect anime too. So there's all my anime figures. Again, I'm gonna reshoot these figures because I, in the past, I just shot them with my cell phone without proper lighting. So I'm gonna reshoot them. And that's why I, you see all the black pictures or the reshoots I have. I also have Ninja Turtles. I also have, let me see, oh yeah, here's my Transformers, my Masterpiece Collection. And then I also have, uh, where is my G1? Oh yeah, here's all my G1 figures. There's more. And then, oh yeah, then I started my He-Man collection. A lot of She-Ra figures, but um, I have a couple He-Man somewhere. Oh, there's He-Man. And then, oh yeah, I also have G.I. Joe. And then, uh, what else? I do 3D printing. Um, and my Marvel. Video game characters. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, there's a lot of video game characters. Street Fighter, Mega Man, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, Zelda, uh, Halo, Starcraft, 
Metroid. Um, oh yeah. Thank you. <gasps> Thanks for the follow too. I stream every uh, Saturday from 4 to 8 p.m. And I usually do my craft stuff. So right now I'm working on some do a dollhouse and repainting a uh, FJ Cruiser, 112 scale FJ Cruiser. Yeah, I, I, as you can see, my collection is 112 scale. And, um, yeah, so I, I've been, oh, my camera's kind of messed up again. Oh, sorry about that. They, oh, no. Slasher tech webcam won't stay put. Okay, yeah, so you can see there, there, I have a lot in my collection. And um, I do uh, from time to time stream from this room like I am right now. And I, oh, oh, oh my God, I have, I can't believe this. I have to show you my, uh, my comic book. Hold on one second, okay? Let me show you my comic book. Oops, commercial. Sorry about that. I noticed my uh, my screen is out of place here. Let me just fix this real quick. There you go. And then what else? Oh, and then since I'm at, at my desktop, I also have an Instagram page with all my work, the stuff that I do in my garage. I do a lot of 3D printing, painting, a lot of pa little miniature paintings and stuff. I did some d and I played that too. Uh, this is my goose. D, D goose and my um, rock elemental or earth elemental. Oh, I, and I also did this boat. Yeah, so I do a lot of random things on my stream, mostly my crafting stuff, talking about action figures, my collection. I give tours of my room when I'm. When I have my camera ready set up, I usually have a USB extender to uh, get around my room and show you guys my cool, cool, cool collection. Oh, I didn't realize uh, Raven, I didn't see uh, Raven's uh, comment. I could feel the hate emanating from the voice. <laughs> but I told you to eat your yogurt. But yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again um, on my future, my my next streams on Saturday, of course. I try, I um, I leave my Sundays open to take care of my my craft projects and stuff. And once in a while, I'll stream on Sunday like today. But I was mostly streaming because I was working on my review of the Logitech webcam. And testing out the blue, this new blue Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition mic that I have. Unfortunately, the um, the sound effects doesn't work with OBS. It does say it's Discord certified, so I'm, I might uh, try this mic uh, with my uh, my friends on. Uh, on Discord when we play D and D, because I'm a half not a half I'm a elven rogue, um, half elf no half elf no no I'm an elven wood elf wood elf rogue, 
half rogue, half fighter. There you go. I was been trying to put that in. Half rogue, half fighter. So yeah, once once I finish my reviews and stuff, I'm gonna kind of probably redo my room setup, get on the mics and stuff. I am going to be playing games for my room uh, starting this fall. Um, I will I will be playing this game called Lost Ark. So if you're into, I guess it's kind of MMO RPG, but uh, like Diablo kinda. Uh, and yeah, it's a free game. Oh, reminds me, I need to buy in on the um, starter kit. So I'm gonna purchase that. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be something I'll be streaming during the week um, after work. So I try to get more more uh, content uh, from myself and get more viewers um, to watch my stuff. Because I, I really enjoy doing my crafting and it's always nice to have people chit chat with while I work on it. Back to music. I'm trying to write down my address where I'm going to be going tonight. I just wish there was parking. I don't see any parking anywhere. Well, anyways, so I'm going to have to... Oh, who just signed on? Anyways, maybe I hope you uh, finish your... Uh, get some good writing today. Um, DJ, thanks for hopping on. And uh, Giddy Boy. Is it Giddy Boy? Uh, thank you for uh, the follow today. You helped me meet my quota.
Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to sign off. You guys all take care. Be safe. And I will catch you guys on Saturday, uh, next Saturday stream. Bye now.